Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video doing a full review of the multi-window function on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Getting some true multitasking going on phones, especially with the bigger screen taking um, advantage of that. So first of all, you will see a little icon right here. I do want to mention that this is the Sprint Galaxy Note 2. Um, this was just pushed out to the Note 2 actually on Sprint. It isn't on other uh, US carrier variants at the moment but it should come very soon hopefully and it has been on the international version for a while now so anyways let's go ahead and get into it so as I showed this icon right here um, shows a bunch of applications you can press and hold the back button and it will actually get rid of that icon if you don't want it there or you can press and hold the back button to bring it back and it brings up that list of applications right away you can actually just multitask through if you want to just use Chrome or go ahead and then switch to your gallery um, anything like that, you can go ahead and just quickly multitask between these applications, or you can use the multi-window function. Before I get into that, you can go ahead and edit these icons. You can drag and drop ones you don't use. So, for example, I don't use the email application. I can go ahead and put that away. Since I use Chrome, I don't use my browser. I can put that away. Um, I don't use Polaris Office that often, so I'm going to put that in there. But I'm going to just hit Done, and you can go back to Edit if you want to add those back again. But anyways, let's go ahead and show off one of the quick functions. So let's say I wanted to open up Chrome, and I was browsing the web, and I was uh, on QBKing77.com. One thing I do want to show you guys is with AirView with the S Pen, I did go ahead and make a video showing off various features of the S Pen. You'll have to check that out. I'll link to it. But on my website, you can hover over these various drop-down menus, and it opens them for you. It is the coolest thing, and I didn't even realize it before, but I just noticed it. So I'm not touching the screen. AirView uh, with the S Pen is doing this for me, so it's actually really cool. So you have to check that out if you have a Note 2. Check out my site and try out these drop-down menus with the AirView and the S Pen, and you can select various ones. So that's just a little thing I wanted to point out. <laughs> Otherwise, though, so Chrome is open. Let's say I did get a text message but didn't want to move away from this page. I can go ahead and open up these apps on the side and then press and hold the messaging application, drop it down at the bottom, and then it will multitask and show both of them uh, with the multi-window feature. I can go ahead and compose a, a message, and you will see a keyboard does pop up. No matter what uh, size the screen is at, that keyboard stays the same. So if I wanted to text Google, I can go ahead and type in their number and then go ahead and select down at the bottom and enter text. So I can say, hey, there, and hit send. And then it will go ahead and send the message. I can minimize. I can actually move this keyboard anywhere. So um, if I wanted to just do this and see the message I was typing, I can move the keyboard if I wanted to. I believe to back out of the keyboard, I can press the back arrow and it exits out of that keyboard so you'd see I did send Google a message saying hey there if I wanted to leave it open and wait for the response I can go ahead and pull that down a bit and you can actually I believe scroll with the messaging application it's a little bit difficult just due to the fact um, that you've minimized it so much so again if you wanted to see the response you can bring it down just a little bit just so you can still see the response and then you can go back to your web page you can flip them as well um, that's it. One thing I did want to mention is how smooth that this multi-window feature works. It's amazing how quick and snappy it is. And again, even just switching these screens, opening up various applications, dropping them in there. Let's say I wanted to wait for this response and I wanted to go into my Gmail application. I can drop that up there and that uh, that works. Uh, the last window that you have pressed or, or, uh, or used is the one that works with these menu functions. So again, I'm using the Gmail application. If I press the menu button, it brings up menu from the Gmail application. And let's say I wanted to go ahead and tap on the messaging application. Now when I press the menu button, it works with the messaging application. So that's how that works. Same with the back arrow. So I'm using my Gmail application. I press the back arrow. It will open up my browser once again because, again, I did drop that Gmail application on top of my browser. So that's just uh, another neat feature of multi-window. Let's say you were tired of waiting for a response on your message. You can go ahead and use your whatever application you want to open up and then press in between. And then you can press this full view icon right here and it just brings up the full view of the application that you are on so you can get rid of that multi window. So that's the easy way to do that. Another uh, quick example, we can go ahead and try the YouTube application. So we can go ahead and open up YouTube. And on my channel feed, I am subscribed to Flygrip. I can actually link to their channel. It's actually kind of cool. He um, posts some cool videos. So if I wanted to watch a video, let's say kickstand demonstration with the Galaxy Note 2, 
Um, I can watch a video and browse the web as well at the same time. So it's loading up that video. I am on 3G, so it might take a little bit of time to load. Uh, but here we go. Hello, everyone. This is Michael over at Flygrip. So, yeah, there's just a video playing. You can read the description if you want the video to get a little bit bigger. You can try it horizontally as well. It's kind of funny. I'm watching a video on how to use the Flygrip as a kickstand, and I'm using my Flygrip as a kickstand. Oh, yeah. But anyways, uh, you'll see you can uh, use it horizontally as well as vertically. When watching a video, it's a very nice work using it uh, horizontally. I don't know why that just switched. I believe screen rotation, I had that off, but uh, here we go. All right, I went ahead and paused the video, but you can really get a good idea of how well this works. I haven't noticed any lag when using this multi-window uh, function. Again, if I wanted to go back to my messaging application, I can open that on up. It brings up that message with Google that I do have. Uh, again, if I wanted to make a quick note about something, anything like that, I can hit a new note and uh, make a quick note about the video. Let's say I wanted to say, nice video, send email. There you go. So if I wanted to remind myself to do that, I can hit check and save the note. I can rename it, move the keyboard once again, hit OK. It saves that note, and let's say I wanted to go back into my messaging application. There we go. While the video is still going, I'm switching back and forth between these applications while this video is going. So, again, it works great. We can switch switch the windows in horizontal mode as well. But uh, that that's just an awesome feature now on the Galaxy Note 2. Definitely a huge selling point. I'm really glad that Sprint got Sprint and Samsung got the update out to the Sprint variant very soon. Hopefully T-Mobile will get it in the other variants as well very soon. But uh, yeah, that's just a full review of the multi-window feature on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. You'll have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.